Hi friends, this is Kathy and welcome back to my channel. On my channel, I talk about marriage and relationships. So if you have been married or perhaps in a relationship for less than a year, less than five years, less than 10 years or more, then this is the video for you because we are going to talk about how to spice up your marriage or how to spice up your relationship. So let's get started. So friends, I have been married for 19 years. I can share a lot of good tips and nuggets about your relationship from my 19 years of experience. Are you in that stage of your relationship that everything is just stagnant or it's just getting boring? Like you guys are just watching TV, not even talking to one another or perhaps on the phone or on electronic device all the time. So today I'm going to be sharing with you four simple and doable tips on how to spice up your marriage or relationship. Tip number one, doing chores together. Why not? Have fun in doing chores together. Perhaps maybe like washing dishes, doing laundry, washing the car and do it together. When you do that together, that doesn't mean that you're going to be quiet and not even talking like I do this and you do that, go ahead and complete them. No, the purpose of doing chores together is to strengthen your bond and have that talking quality time where you guys, where you and your spouse can talk about anything under the sun and be transparent in a respectful manner in an adult way and a loving way when you're having that conversation with your spouse doing chores together. Tip number two, how do you go to bed? Do you just go to bed on your side and he's on the other side? Well, that has probably got to stop. My tip in going to bed is making sure that you are saying I love you and also perhaps saying sweet dreams and better yet, sweet dreams and dream about me. Saying I love you before you go to bed is an incredible way to end your day. No matter what happens throughout the day, if you're in the middle of an argument, then you should be able to wrap it up and have that adult conversation with your spouse. If you have not seen my video on how to stop arguments in a relationship, make sure that you watch that video after you watch this. And in that video, I've given four tips on how to stop arguments in a relationship. So moving forward into saying I love you to your spouse. If you are in the middle of an argument, then you won't have that lovey-dovey feeling of saying I love you to your spouse, right? It's very important that you end your day with a peace of mind and that you're able to say I love you to your spouse. If you haven't been doing that, then today, right now, after you watch this video, is the time for you to start saying I love you to your spouse. So let's move forward to tip number three. Husbands, don't forget, flowers are supposed to be given randomly. It is a token of your expression of your love. And ladies, women love flowers. That is one of my best tips that I can tell you. With my 19 years of marriage, my husband has managed to give me a, even a simple bouquet of flowers or maybe a stem of rose. And I appreciate that so much. It makes me, it made me feel so loved. So that is a quick reminder for you husbands, for you misters out there, making sure that you are giving flowers to your wife. And tip number four is knowing your love language. Friends, to improve communication and to spice up your marriage, you need to know your love language. There are different types of love languages. You can watch the full episode on my debunking or my explanation on the love languages on our marriage series. So after you watch this video, go ahead and check that out in that session. I explained everything about the love language. My love language is physical touch. Physical touch gives me affirmation. I love hugs and kisses and just that closeness, the physical closeness. And that gives me so much affirmation on my marriage relationship. So friends, those are the quick four tips 
on how to spice up your relationship. There are other and tons of tips out there that you can find on how to spice up your relationship. We're not specifically talking about intimacy right now because of some of the viewers on my channel are below 18 years old. But the four tips that I shared with you are some simple, doable tips that you can do right now. Friends, if you want to see the whole session of how to spice up your relationship, that is in my channel as well. So you can go ahead and listen to that. While you're doing chores, it serves as a mini podcast. I'd love to hear from you from the comment section down below what you're doing with your relationship right now or something that you will start doing after watching this video. I can't wait to hear from you and hear all the positive things that are working on your relationship or that are going to be working on your relationship. So friends, if you found the value on this video, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe over here and push that notification bell so you can get notified on my next video. And don't forget to click that next video that will be showing in a little bit. Until next time, bye friends!